Good morning, dear tutor and classmates. I am Eliana Sofia Lea Lozada, and this is my video for the course English Conversation. So I'm going to start. I was born in Yopal, Casanare, but I live in Villanueva, Casanare with my parents. Um, I am 20 years old and I like many languages, animals and plants. In my free time, I love to ride a bike and take care of my garden. Um, my time is divided between work and study. To earn some money, I work in a bakery. At the moment, I'm in the ninth semester of my degree in English, and I am excited to know that I will soon graduate. I acquired the current level of English thanks to a long process that I started since I was in school. My first approach with the English language was when I was seven years old and I had the opportunity to travel abroad. There I realized that one of my main goals would be to learn these languages. For this, I was for almost two years in an English course and I began a long process of self-taught learning with the tools provided to me through the UNED University. I believe that my level of English can improve because I'm still very shy to speak and when I want to speak with someone else I forget the vocabulary. I don't know why but I think that it's because I was nervous or something like that. Okay, I already talked about my experience acquired the target language English. Now I want to talk about three strategies that have helped me to improve my English speaking skills. First of all, I want to highlight with what the authors mentioned um, Lieber, Itman and Sherman says. You can make it to your native levels if you take advantage of your strength and find strategies to compensate your weakness. In my case, I understand this point very well. Because one of my skills in these languages is that I listen and understand the Tango language well. That is why I had the opportunity to travel abroad for a few months and have a contact with native speakers. With this, I think that I needed a stressful situation to start speaking. I learned it because I had several friends who encouraged me to speak without fear to make mistakes and of course um, if I was wrong about something they helped me to improve and were willing to teach me grammar and case sentence to defend myself in one place where you need to speak and use the target language. The second strategy that helped me a lot is the time on tax. I think that in university it is the longest time that I had spent learning English because it took approximately four or five years where I tried to read, write, speak, and listen to the target language almost daily and it had worked a lot for me to take each text seriously and perform it in a way in which I write down in a notebook everything that I learned and current ideas that I have wrong because it's this possibility. To learn better, I forced myself to do all the words of the university in the best way, because I need to be in contact with languages so that I don't forget it. Finally, the last strategy that I use is practice as much as I can. For this, internet offers of, um, many websites where you can't practice about speaking or writing or grammar, something like that. For example, it is good for me um, to build my confidence through audios, videos, movies, songs and books that are in the target language. This helps me to learn fresh key phrases that can be useful to me and improve the pronunciation of words and in addition I feel that I'm in contact with the language when I look for ways to listen and read everyday things in English. 
On medication, I usually prepare or write a chef chip with keywords or sentences that help me feel safe and to challenge myself to learn new things in a practical way. Sometimes I develop our, our, um, grammar activities that I have in my English books and I thought it sees me a little bit crazy, but I usually speak to myself in English and this helped me up to practice on everyday topics. So finally, I think that there are many strategies that you can use, however, they all need us to dedicate time to be honest with ourselves. So that's all. Thanks for watching. If you like the content of this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Looking forward to see you in the next video. Bye.